Blow, by Charles Hoyfort, Part 1, Chapter 16b, in the Literary Digest, Volume 46, page 922, it is said that the police records of London show that 170,472 persons mysteriously disappeared in the years 1907 to 13, and that nothing had been found out in 3,260 of the cases. Anybody who has an impression of 167,212 cases, all explained ordinarily, may not think much of 3,260 cases left over. But some of us, now educated somewhat, or at least temporarily, by experience of pseudo-endings of mysteries, will question that the 167,212 cases were so satisfactorily explained, except relatively to not very exacting satisfactions. If it's a matter of remarriage and collection of insurance, half a dozen bereft ones may identify a body found in the river, or cast up by the sea. They settle among themselves which shall marry again and collect. Naturally enough, wherever Cupid is, cupidity is not far away, and both haunt morgues. Whether our astronomical and geological and biological knowledge is almost final, or not, we know very little about ourselves. Some of us can't, or apparently can't, tell a husband or a wife from somebody else's husband or wife. About the year 1920, in New York City, a woman, whose husband was in an insane asylum, was visited by a man, who greeted her fondly, telling her that he was her husband. She made everything cheerful and home-like for him. Some time later, she learned that her husband was still in the asylum. She seemed resentful about this, and got the other man arrested. Cynical persons will think of various explanations. I have notes upon another case. A man appeared and argued with a woman, whose husband was a sailor, that he was her husband. Go away, said she. You are darker than my husband. Oh, said he. I have had yellow fever. So she listened to reason, but something went wrong, and the case got into a police court. Because of the flux and the variation of all supposed things, I typify all judgments in all matters, in trifles and in scientific questions that are thought to be of utmost importance, with this story of the woman and her uncertainties. If a husband, or a datum, would stay put, a mind, if that could be kept from varying, might be said to know him, or it, after a fashion.